said it. I said it one time on the first day. And on this day, how far can two wheels take you? The less you pedal, the less you pedal, the less far your two wheels will take you. But that kind of has to go with everything. I hope that you I have, have seen, have realized that this program is about you. Not like collectively, like you, like as a group, like it's about you. Like I watch you, and I watch you, and I watch you, and I see you, and I worry about you, or I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, it's about you. I know your name. And especially the more you repeat this program, right? There's relationships that are developed, and, and I get to see the progress, and, and that's, that's what makes me not be able to forget you. But I, I hope that you know that it's not always about you crossing that finish line in first place. But it is about you thinking that you're number one, or that you have won, with something that day, that session. Whether it has to do with BMX or not, right? That you have won, that you've done something that scared you, or that you've done something that you've never done before. That's amazing. But, if you don't continue on, you don't get to see what you're made of. Not your true potential, not your true self. You don't get to see. And, and if I don't ever see you out here at this track again because you feel like it's not, it's just not for you, then I hope the next thing that you do, well, that you do it, that you do it a lot. Maybe, maybe that is strumming a, a guitar because you're like, I'm interested in being a musician. I wanna, I wanna play the guitar. But the less you strum that guitar, the less good you're gonna be, the less good you're gonna find out that you can be. And and we don't wanna get in that habit, right? Of being like, vroom, vroom, I'm not that good, I gotta move on to something else. Or pedal, pedal, I'm not that good, I gotta move on to something else. We don't want that to happen. Because it's whatever you do in life, it's not always gonna be easy. There's always gonna be hard times, easy times tears, smiles. And if you don't ever walk through those gates again, there's always going to be somebody that comes in after you to replace you. But that's not the point. It's not how far can two wheels take everyone. How far can two wheels take someone someday? It's how far can two wheels take you? And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. I want you to remember what this bike what these crashes, what these wins, what these trophies, what those mean to you. All right, get on that hill right there, get yourself a good viewing area. You have Alex Harris, or Lee, Eris, Alex, Kimberly, CJ, William, and Jaden. Now what's the most sketchy part about riding through the rhythm section or when you're in a race? Uh, um, it's hard to get in sync with the, the landscape. Yes, that's all hard, but one of the harder things would be riding with the group of people in your moto. When you're all elbow to elbow, tire to tire, in a big clump. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be lining you up by moto at the start of the rhythm section and we're all going to send you off. You guys are going to be elbow to elbow, bike to bike, bar to bar. Okay. You're going to be rolling through here and you're going to treat it like a race. You're going to go as fast as you can with your buddies right next to you and you're going to try your best to get through here without chickening out or slowing down or, you know, getting a little worried about the people next to you. Like our junior coaches are going to demonstrate for us. 
Okay? Now, I'm right up here. How do you think I feel that, that William is the one explaining things? How do you think it makes me feel? Proud. Uh, lazy? Good or bad? Good. 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 Because uh, I didn't even ask him to do it this time or the last group. He surprised me. He just started doing it. And that's cool that, that when you do something so many times, you can just do it without even thinking about it, without even being told. You can just do it. And Will's right. Not too often do we get with our moto to be in close proximity to one another. A lot of times we're spread out. So we don't get we don't get the feeling of what it's like to ride bar to bar and elbow to elbow. And as BMX racers, we know that's scary. And so why not do the scariest thing on the hardest part of the track? Because, look, yeah, you might crash, but I'm doing this on purpose in this place. Because if you crash, you're likely to crash right here. Because you're going to take off. One foot on the pedal, one foot on the ground. I'm going to say go. You're going to go. But if you tangle up with somebody, chances are you're not going to crash. You're just going to, like, steer out of it because you control your bike. But even if you do tumble over, you're going to get right back up because you're going, like, one mile an hour. And I saw it today. They just got right back up. It's no big deal. You treat this stuff like hot lava. It's kind of like the same color. Now you're going to see them do it. Go through the rhythm section, cross the finish line, cross across the track. Each coach is going to help you get grouped up. It's going to take a while in the beginning, but then once you get the flow, we're going to keep going, going, going. <laughs> you want to take off fast. Because the easiest place to be is in front or in back. But the hardest place to be is in front. Is to get in front. Is to have that gut to get in front. So coaches, are you ready? Finally! Oh. <laughs> Elbow to elbow like this. <laughs>